Safe Air Testers are designed to provide a quick and easy method for carrying out accurate periodic testing of breathing air supplies. This training session features the F6000, which is designed primarily for use on airline systems up to 10 bar, but can also test high-pressure charging systems when used in conjunction with the F3002 high-pressure regulator. The F6000 has a colour touchscreen display and is supplied in a hard, weatherproof case with storage provision for accessories. It's primarily designed to be used from within the case, however the tester can also be removed and operated separately where space is at a premium. Testers are supplied with batteries packed separately. Please note, rechargeable batteries are not suitable for use with this instrument. These must be installed prior to use unless it's the intention to power the unit solely from the mains. The ribbon should be laid underneath the batteries to allow them to be easily removed at a later date. When fitting the batteries, it's important to observe the polarity and ensure they are correctly located. The test is carried out using built-in electrochemical cells for carbon monoxide and oxygen and an infrared LED sensor for carbon dioxide. The moisture is measured with an electronic dew point meter and the instrument also records airflow rate, pressure and ambient temperature. For measuring oil aerosols, a Draeger impactor is connected through a test port and the degree of oil contamination is displayed on its screen. To carry out a test, first switch on the machine by pressing and holding the green ON button located on the right-hand side of the unit for approximately 3 seconds. The display will show the date last calibrated, serial number and a tick or cross symbol will indicate whether it's within the recommended calibration period. A stylus pen is provided for use with the touch screen. Press the arrow key to progress to the main menu. To change the configuration settings, press the right hand button. From the sub menu, you can set the date, time, units of measure, and breathing air test standard. To return to the main menu, press the back arrow in the top left corner of the screen. To carry out a test, press the Begin Test button. The unit will then automatically calibrate the oxygen cell against the surrounding atmosphere and the unit therefore needs to be in a well-ventilated area. You now have the option of entering a description for the test location. If you wish to use numbers, press the function button. Press the right arrow button when you're ready to proceed. For breathing air tests, the standard option is to select the Draeger oil impactor. However, this test port can also be used with a range of other Draeger tubes and these can be selected by pressing the left hand icon. This training session will be based on the impactor. At the end of this video, there are details on the Draeger tubes which can be used with the instrument. The unit has four test programs available. Airline systems up to 40 bar, high pressure charging compressors, high-pressure cylinders up to and including 200 bar and high-pressure cylinders above 200 bar. All of the high-pressure tests require the use of the F3002 regulator which has a DIN connector that can accept input pressures up to 300 bar. This training video is for airline systems below 40 bar. When checking an airline system, ensure that the flow control valve is fully closed and then connect it to the air supply to be tested. Ideally, this should be done by using the hose, which normally supplies the breathing apparatus. Fit the appropriate adapter to the tester first and then connect the supply hose to the adapter. As standard, the F6000 is supplied with an F2193 adapter which terminates in a CEJN compatible plug. Alternative adapters for the most popular BA connections are available from Fact Air. Please note that a test can be carried out at any pressure between 2 and 10 bar. If the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. 
it will then need returning to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. Input pressure will be shown on the gauge and the adjacent system pressure display. The system pressure will automatically default to the gauge reading. However, if the breathing air is being distributed at a different pressure to that being displayed, this should be entered at this stage. It should be noted that the pressure dew point will be calculated on the recorded system pressure. Press the right arrow key to proceed. We can now confirm the flow and pressure is adequate for your respiratory protective device. Adjust the system's flow control valve so that the flow meter registers the required level. Check the pressure is sufficient for the breathing air equipment being used. It's recommended that this flow is left running for the duration of the test to simulate the conditions of use. Press the arrow key to proceed if the flow and pressure meet the minimum requirements for your RPD. Carry out the odour test and smell the air exhausted from the sintered outlet. If there's a serious odour problem, fail the sample at this point of the test. Initiating flows of seriously contaminated air could result in damage to the instrument. If the odour test is satisfactory, press the pass button. The instrument will now begin a 5-minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through the test port and across the electronic cells. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the Draeger impactor should be inserted into the test port and tightened firmly. Ensure the impactor has an intact protective seal. This seal must remain in place for the duration of the test. During the test, the flow meter should be set to simulate the requirements of the RPD. Press the button in the top right-hand corner to start the test. The test will now begin and the remaining time will be displayed as a countdown together with pressure, flow rate, ambient temperature, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide and oxygen content. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. Once the test is complete, close the flow control valve. The readings from the impactor can now be entered. Remove the impactor and peel off the protective seal. The impactor incorporates a series of three horizontal rows of nozzles. Any oil present in the sample in an aerosol form and greater than a concentration of 0.05 mg per cubic metre will be deposited on the display screen as a series of small dots. Each of the three rows has a different distance between nozzles and their spacing is calibrated to 0.1, 0.5 and 1.0 mg per cubic metre. When the dots on each row form a continuous line, then it identifies that the concentration levels for that line have been exceeded. For this particular test, there are no dots present, so the oil concentration level is less than 0.05 mg per cubic metre. In breathing air standard EN12021, the maximum permissible level is 0.5 mg per cubic metre, so we know for this test it's a pass. The following pictures, however, are examples of tests where there has been oil present. The first picture shows dots present on each of the three rows, but as you can see, none of the three rows have joined into a continuous line, so we know the oil concentration level present is greater than 0.05 but less than 0.1 mg per cubic metre. This would therefore still be a pass on a breathing air test to BSEN12021. On this second picture, the bottom row of dots have formed into a continuous line, but the middle and top rows are still individual dots. Therefore, the concentration level for this test is greater than 0.1, but less than 0.5 mg per cubic metre. Again, this would still be a pass, but only just, if it was a breathing air test to BSEN12021. On this third picture, both the bottom and middle row have formed into continuous lines, 
Therefore, the concentration is greater than 0.5, but less than 1.0 mg per cubic metre, and this would be a failure for a breathing air test. On this final picture, all three rows have formed continuous lines, and the concentration level is now in excess of 1.0 mg per cubic metre, and once again a failure for a breathing air test. Select the image from the screen which matches the results on the impactor. The test complete screen displays all the measurements recorded during the test and automatically determines whether the test was a pass or fail against the standard displayed in the top right corner of the screen. The water content is displayed as a pressure dew point. If the test was a fail, a red exclamation mark would be indicating those criteria which did not meet the standard. Here's an example of a failed test, where carbon dioxide failed to meet the requirements of the selected standard. For airline systems less than 40 bar, the pressure dew point, i.e. the point at which water will begin to condense into a liquid form in the airline, must be at least 5 degrees centigrade below the lowest temperature at which the system will be used. The F6000 automatically calculates the pressure dew point from the measured water content and system pressure. It then compares this to the ambient temperature to determine whether it was a pass or fail. This test result is automatically recorded in the instrument's memory, which can store up to 20 previous tests. Once the instrument has saved 20 results, you'll be unable to complete further tests until you've removed at least one of the stored tests. To view these tests, return to the main menu and press the Review Tests button. Test results are stored accordingly to the date and time they were completed. From this menu, previous tests can be viewed or deleted as required. To disconnect the tester from the system, make sure you leave the inlet adapter on the instrument and only disconnect at the end of the supply hose. The adapter can then be disconnected afterwards if required. To transfer test results from the SafeAir tester, you need to first download the PC software. This latest version of the software is free to download from Factair's website. To begin downloading the results, First, connect the USB cable provided with the F6000 to your computer and open the Safe Air Tester Results F4000 F6000 series software. Then click on the File drop down menu and select Import Test Results from F6000 via USB connection. Multiple test results can be imported by left clicking on the first and then holding the shift key and clicking on the last record and then click open. You will then be able to choose the location where you'd like the test results to be stored. When the instrument has completed exporting the results, you can choose whether to delete the results from the Safe Air tester's memory. Once you've finished using the F6000, to turn off the instrument, use the return arrows to go back to the main menu and press the Power Off button in the top right-hand corner of the screen. Individual test records can then be opened from the File drop-down menu by selecting Open a Test Results File. Once loaded, further information can be added about the test location, engineer and their address. The engineer and address details can also be saved as a default. For each test, you will need to confirm whether the recorded test volume and pressure was sufficient by selecting Pass or Fail as appropriate. When complete, you can save the test result file and, if required, print off a certificate. In the UK, Health and Safety Executive Guideline HSG 53 recommends test results should be retained for a minimum of five years. Supplementary information As well as the Draeger impactor, the F6000 is also compatible with the Draeger oil, nitrous fumes, sulphur dioxide and polytest tubes. These are available from Factair together with the F2187 Draeger tube tip cutter. To complete a test using a tube, commence a new test and after the instrument has calibrated the oxygen cell and you've input the location details, you will have the option to select a test using a tube. 
You will then be able to choose from oil, sulfur dioxide, nitrous fumes or the polytest tube. If you're intending to complete an oil tube test, then you'll need to input the test time. If you can determine with a high degree of certainty the specific compressor lubricant being used, then refer to the test times chart provided on Factair's website marked for the F6000. If you have no knowledge of the type of compressor lubricant being used in the breathing air system, then Factair recommends 15 minutes as this covers the vast majority of lubricants. Once you've selected which tube you wish to test, carry out the odour test and smell the air exhausted from the sintered outlet. The instrument will complete a 5-minute purge sequence, during which time an airflow will be passed through the port. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the appropriate Draeger tube can be prepared for insertion. Remove both ends using an F2187 tube tip cutter. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube port. When the tube is prepared, insert it into the test port with the arrow pointing away from the instrument and tightened firmly. The test will proceed as previously described and at the end of it you'll be prompted to enter the results from the tube. For the nitrous fumes and sulphur dioxide tubes, enter the result using the numeric pad. Then press the arrow in the top right hand corner. For the oil and polytest tubes, select the appropriate pass or fail icons. The result will then be displayed on the final test results screen and stored in the instrument's memory.